Hi, I'm Matt Benyon, a Product Marketing Manager at Western Digital, and today we're going to go through how to set up a MyCloud using a Windows computer. The first thing you're going to do is connect the MyCloud power adapter to the wall. Next, you're going to take the Ethernet cable included in the box and connect it to the back of the MyCloud, and then connect the other end to your home network to your wireless router. The MyCloud needs to boot up next. It takes a minute or so for that to happen, and you'll know it's done when the LED turns blue. The first step to setting it up is to go to the Online Learning Center. To get there, you go to wd.com slash setup. The Online Learning Center is a great place to go to get download software and learn about how the product works. We're going to start by downloading setup software. Go ahead and save the file. It doesn't take too long to download. Once this file is downloaded, I'm going to launch this setup software. Go ahead and click get started. Accept the terms of the license agreement. Uh, once again, it's asking me to boot up. I'm just gonna go ahead and click next a couple times. Uh, it's gonna check the status of the MyCloud. This may take a moment or two. Um, and here I'm gonna create my wd.com account. So I'll enter my first name, my last name, and an email address that I'd like to use later to log into these remotely. Once I click next, it's, it's got me set up. Uh, and now I'm going to choose to install the WD MyCloud desktop application. Uh, this is how you're going to remotely access the MyCloud. I'll choose English. Accept the terms. Go ahead and click done. Now, the desktop icons that we've made, uh, we've got a, a quick link to the dashboard of the MyCloud. This is where you can get under the hood of the device, create users, create shares, change some of the settings of the device. Uh, but we'll go ahead and minimize out of here. The next link will take me to that back to that online learning center where I can get more software, go through some how-tos, uh, and figure out what to do next. Uh, once again, there's some software downloads here. We're going to go ahead. Uh, we already did the MyCloud desktop. We'll skip some of these for now, but we'll get back and look at some of these again in just a bit. Now I'm going to click on the MyCloud share, and this is actually going to open up Explorer for me, and I can actually load files into these specific folders for shared music, shared photos, and shared video. Uh, and I'll launch the MyCloud desktop application. Once I connected it, found a device on the network. I could also log in with the wdmycloud.com account. Uh, but since it's found on the network, I'll go ahead and choose that. With one click access, I can go in and access the MyCloud remotely using the MyCloud desktop app. Now the MyCloud desktop app is great. I can use that to, to click on it. Uh, once I do, that logs me into the drive from anywhere and I can access all the files and folders stored on the MyCloud. So as you can see, setting up a MyCloud was really easy to do. Uh, going to the online learning center, downloading the setup software, and within just a couple minutes, we were able to be up and running, including with the MyCloud desktop software. Once again, I'm Matt Benyon. Thanks for joining me.